Woohoo! Hello, it is me! Today, I am with Jay Kissa. Jess! Hi. Jay Kissa makeup. Look at this. She still looks good. How long has it been? Oh, dude, I don't even know. Like, a month, maybe? I don't know. My hair grows so. maybe, maybe a month and a half. But it looks good, so I'm just going to retouch this and... I just want to show you guys a different formulation of the Metallic Obsession. And it's not really much a paranormal hair tivity day because it's just a retouch. But still, changing up the formula is fun. And we've been loving this silverish hair. Look at that. It looks so white. Did you brush your hair this morning? Mm -mm. No. I you never. just woke up like this? <laughs> yeah. But, I just like woke up and just called it a day. But what I love is how long this color has lasted. This silver color, right? Are you surprised? Dude, yeah, I'm really surprised. It hasn't turned yellow at all, which I know. is amazing. I bet you get so many compliments, yeah? Yeah. And then I say, guy did it, and then they freak out. Yeah! All right, this guys. Guy. I'm mixing up the lightener right now. And I don't use much Olaplex into it. I only use 1 16th. So here you'll see me. Ooh, I got some stuff on there. Let me wipe that off. Okay, so I use about that much. And then I pour it into the lightener. And that's all I use. And it's all about slow processing on this because I don't want to hurt her hair. So I make sure I stir it up real well. Okay, are you ready to get started? <laughs> yeah, let's do this. Let's ready do this. to not have roots. No more rootage, rootage. So I'm gonna, I always split the hair perfectly down the center. Look, that's, that's about, you're a natural blonde. Yeah. So all you need is 20 volume to lift that up and then take it slow. All right, here we go. So this is the perfect amount of time, like anywhere from four to six weeks is the perfect amount of time for your clients to come back for a retouch. Usually this is, this is the exact amount of regrowth you want with your clients. Sometimes our clients wait too long, and if they wait too long, what will happen is if it grows out too far and you try to do the retouch, their routage area right here will get really bright and right out here will be yellow. So make sure you tell your clients to come back every four or five weeks usually. That's the perfect amount of time. For uh, Jay Kissa, this has been about almost pushing six weeks, so we're like right near the point of, uh-oh. Of but this, no return. Yeah. But well, this is perfect. And because we're gonna slightly overlap that line of demarcation a little bit, um, just because just that's just how lightener works, because it swells. And Olaplex will ensure that that will be fine because the scalp area lightens faster anyways, and the overlap won't cause any type of damage. So this will be uh, the perfect time to use Olaplex. So it has been about 40 minutes, and look how she is lifted. Um, it lifted to a level 10 pretty much. I'm just gonna open her up to check the insides to make sure there's no banding to make sure I saturate thoroughly. I'm gonna go from behind here. Look, this is nice! Nice! Okay, hold. Yes, look how light you got. And that's with Olaplex 30 volume, which makes a 20. So that's all you need. And there's no breakage. I can see her hair is still very strong. See that? <laughs> So anyway, we're going to put more silver in. I'm thinking I'm going to go 7, 8, and 10 and Violet Booster. Are you cool with that? Dude, of course. I'm cool with anything. You're cool with anything. <laughs> All right, All let's right, get guys. started. So we are back from shampooing Jess's hair. I want you to see what it looks like dry. That's a level 10. 40 to 45 minute processing time. And I think letting it sit and process slowly, you get this platinum result on her I believe you're a level eight right but the key is to just be patient um, I'm gonna go in and use 7 SM at her routage 8 SM right through here and I'm gonna do 10 SM down here with a, a two inch violet booster are you excited Jess I'm so excited I mean look it looks pretty cool huh I still can't believe how long this metallic color lasts I and know. That's the thing, you have to lift it up to a level 10 to ensure that you get this icy result. But look at that routage though, look how bright that looks. Actually that looks good by itself. <laughs> I mean, well not with this, but if you were to just have an all over blonde, this looks pretty cool. Yes? Are yeah. you ready? I'm yes. so ready. Yes. All yes. right, guys. So I'm going to mix the color. And this is the Guy Tang Favorites Kenra color. And you guys know I love Kenra. So this is uh, 8SM. And the box looks like this. It has my face on it. And so I have here in a bowl. This is 7SM. 
8 SM and 10 SM. And what I like to do is use one of the boosters. And this is what the violet booster looks like. And it is in the permanent color category, but it's ammonia free. So you can add it in the permanent or the demi permanent color, which I think is really cool. So what I do is this one only has two ounce. So I'm gonna put, I want this one to, this one to be more concentrated. So I'm gonna put two inches. So that's what two inches looks like. And here I'm also going to put two inches and then I'm going to put two inches here as well. And I'll show you guys what I like to do. And the reason why I like to use Violet Booster is because the Violet cancel out the yellow that's in the hair. The, you know, when we lift it to Platinum Blonde, there's still a little bit yellow there. Even though the SM will go in and neutralize all of that, I still feel that that Violet will make sure it gives it that iridescent. So I like to mix with a whisk. So I go in and I mix the color first. And it looks scary purple, but trust me, once it's done, it looks really iridescent. A lot of times we get scared when we're mixing these colors and it looks way too potent. And I like to mix it first before I add the developer. That way the booster is all thoroughly blended in to the metallic shade. Okay, so it's one to two ratio, so it's very important Oops. <laughs> to measure. I dropped everything these days. Okay, so uh, I did about... Uh, two tubes, so I'm gonna pour that in and that's four So now we're gonna do eight ounces of developer and I'm gonna pour that in and I'm gonna repeat that same process with the rest of these uh, Eight and seven SM and I'm gonna apply the color right I am stirring the nine volume dedicate developer into the color Look how nicely that blends I think it's so important to whisk the color first before you actually put the developer in I find it blend a lot better especially when you're mixing multiple tones into one bowl So you see that that looks really nice that concoction and then here's the next one it looks like frosting. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> I love this color. And I like to mix, you know, multi-levels of the same tone. Like, you know, they're all silver metallics, but this is a 7, 8, and 10, and that's what gives us the dimension and make it look like you're naturally born with it, you know? So I am excited, and what I like is the box. Look at this box. You get this kit. <laughs> it comes with this kit when you buy several shades, and... Um, I look really cool and so does my model there and this is a uh, 7, 8 and 10 SM on this model and it comes with all the swatches. Let me open this up to get all the goodies that are in here. Yeah! You get all the swatches, which I think is cool, the swatch insert. And you, can, um, you can definitely see it says Sky Tang Metallic Obsession! Obsession! And then, let's see here, you also get two sachet of the lightener one's ammonia free and one's the regular and you get a booklet uh of all my recipes it's really cool you get to see my clouding technique which is also on my youtube channel you get to see like here's all the recipes i have like sandblast dust devil beach sand crushed ruby shattered amethyst i think the form i'm using on you is uh let's see which one did i use on you i use the frozen orchid and icicles. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> so let's get mixing. Let's get started. Ooh, hey, hey. <laughs> we're on. Okay, so I'm going to start off with 7 SM. And one thing I love about the Kenra Demi is that it's 1 to 2 ratio, so you get a lot of product. And the product spreads so well, so I don't have to mix so many tubes to fill a whole head. So I'm going to start with 7, and last time when I did Jess's hair, I used an 8, but this time I wanted to go darker on the roots, or the rootage, because I want more drama, and I think you like a little bit more drama in your hair, right Jess? Oh yeah. Let, let me see your face as you say that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so the 7 will give it that much more contrast. Yes? Yeah. Um, I think it's very important to mix it with a dedicated activator or developer because I feel like a lot of folks um, sometimes, you know, they'll mix it with 10 or whatever, which is, I, I prefer to mix it with what it's supposed to be mixed with. I think it's very important because the product develop and activates the molecules the way it's supposed to. So 
Here we go. And I'm gonna finish this all over her head first, and then we're gonna go in with the eight. Oh gosh, guys, we forgot to film the whole process because me and Jess were just talking about life, and we got so into it. And then we're like, oh my god, we forgot to film the 8SM and the 10SM part. So basically, you guys get it. Here she is sitting. Uh, we did 7SM, 8SM, 10SM. I'm bringing it down with the Violet Booster. That's all. And I know you guys know how to apply that, so that's fine. So please don't get mad at me. We literally forgot to film the whole process of it all. <laughs> we were just talking. We're having a good time. But we are hungry now, so we're gonna go eating. downstairs and eat. Now let me tell you what, they don't really like me filming in here. I don't know why. Last time I tried filming here, they're like, you cannot be doing that. You cannot film in here. I'm like, okay, whatever. But I got my sandwich, and we're trying to be healthy. And what you got, Judge? You got apple juice too? Mm -hmm. I got apple juice too. All right, guys, we're gonna eat and get back to I know I'm losing a little bit of energy today because so much. <laughs> you are too. I haven't eaten. You have not eaten, and I just got off a flight from New York, working a hair show, mm -hmm. and back from London. So, excuse my exhaustion, but we're gonna eat. Yes. Let's take our first bite. Let's see what it tastes like. Mm. Mm. We are finally done with Jess's hair. Jay kisses. Oh, there she is. Oh my gosh! You know what I love? It's so healthy. You know, it's like that Olaplex treatment, rebonds the hair, then we also add pigment in at the same time. How do you feel about it? I feel like such a pastel rock star. Like, I feel like I'm ready to take the stage. Well, you can. Here, you hold the camera and take, okay. take over. Take over so I can play with that hair, though. Look at that. It's so healthy. So full, and I love the shadow routage with the 7SM, the 8SM on the sides, and then 10SM on the ends. Show them your ends though. Look at that, see? It's so pretty. And this is the prismatallic effect. I love to use the Kenra Color Creator primarily because it's just the viscosity of the product. It's a little bit more loose, so you can blend it in more versus like something that's really, really thick and uh, viscosity. And I also love how it's silver looking, but yet it has the iridescence of lavender. Yes! So, I want to know what you guys think. What do you guys think of this? I like to call it, uh, what, do, what do we call it? Frozen, frozen orchid. Yes. We, we call it frozen orchid, or frozen grape, or crushed amethyst, because it has a silver look to it, but yet it still has um, uh, this purpley iridescent tone to it. So uh, leave some comments below, and I'll also leave a link to her page, Jess's page, and Instagram, YouTube, so you guys can stalk her to see how cool her hair looked, because I did her hair before, and we did that silver, um, mm -hmm. almost like a pinky cast to it, yeah. right? But this time we did this frosted look. And which one do you like more, the first one? I don't know, I loved the first one, but I think this one is more me, you know? I think so too. Thumbs up for this one, guys. And leave comments below. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, per Snapchat Periscope, and hers too. I'll leave all the links so you guys can follow us. Love you so much. To all the hair that sees in the land. And the J Kissies. J Kissies, yes. <laughs> Do -do 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 -do